Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs. And so today I'm just sitting out here in the backyard. Um, if you can see, I'm a little bit red. Excuse all of the planes flying by. Uh, but your girl been working in the garden that we're starting. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do with the footage that I got when we were actually starting the garden. Um, it wasn't acceptable, my, my um, appearance. So I'm not gonna share that. But the thing I want you to get out of it, I'm gonna try and figure out a way to, um, to share that because it's important for you guys to see how we started our um, raised bed garden. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you guys can see that uh, in a little bit, but um, I'll see how I can put little pictures or, or video snippets of how we did it in this video, if if it's possible. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. So I've planted seeds and I've planted starts. I've planted tomato seeds and okra seeds, and I've planted tomato starts um, in a little tower that I picked up at Lowe's. I believe it was Lowe's. It was either Lowe's or Home Depot for like a. Uh, not quite 50 bucks. Um, I started tomatoes and strawberries. And we actually have a little strawberry on there. It's the second one. The first one, it was tiny, red, juicy, delicious. So uber sweet. You guys, there's nothing like growing your own produce. Truly, there's nothing like it. So I wanted to share in this video today me planting some seeds in a way that somebody who's older, somebody with a disability, you can still feel like, yeah, I can put in a little bit of garden and bring in a little bit of food. You know, it might not be an overabundance of food, but it'll be something that you grow with your own hands, you know, that God has blessed you with. So I am going to try and plant these beans. I received these from one of my coworkers. Um, I have no idea what kind of bean it is, but she gave me the seeds. So therefore I'm gonna try and, and plant them. I'm gonna try and plant them. Um, and I bet you didn't even realize, cause I didn't, it took me a while that these look like they were probably they're a pod bean they look like they were probably something that looked like a string bean at some time because i'm sure it was green and you just take those off the vine let them dry just like with okra and the bean that you would eat is the seed so that's what it looks like now let me start over i got my nails done yesterday and, oh no, I wasted this. How did I do that? Well, I'm going to have to redo that again. But anyway, um, I got my nails done yesterday. So I want you guys to take a good look at them. Because they are really pretty. These are chrome nails. These are actually my nails, if you can see. These are my natural nails that have been shaped in the almond shape because I like that. I think that it's very feminine. Um, and so they just put acrylic on because my nails are just naturally thin, especially since, you know, I'm going through menopause. I feel like I'm going through menopause. Um, so anyway, and I've been out in the garden. I have not been wearing gloves, but I haven't been doing any major digging because the beds that we planted have very loose soil in them already potting soil and i use this little knife that i just got it's a it's called a hori hori h-o-r-i h-o-r-i garden knife it's a japanese tool very reasonable i think it was under 10 bucks i'll let that plane pass by and it does come with a sheath 
a nice sheath. It, I don't think it's leather, but it's not flimsy and cheap either. If I can remember, I'll link it down below. But anyway, it's not something that you absolutely have to have, but it is something very useful, especially if you're gonna be separating starts, uh, which is what I, I did. So I'm glad that I went ahead and I purchased that. I'll let this plane pass by. Guys, when I first came out here and started working in the garden, there were no planes going by. Um, and of course, because I decided to sit down and share something with you guys, we're going to be disturbed. Uh, so anyway, um, there's a private airport somewhere in the area of where we're living. So that's the reason for that. Anyway. These are lymph seeds because we are going to be growing our own lymphas. And you may be thinking, Raina Mo, girl, what you need lymphas for? Well, you can wash your body with them. You can wash your dishes with them. You can scrub anything with them. So instead of purchasing artificial plastic ones, I, I'm going to grow with some real ones. Just going to put those under the water. Okay. Hopefully I won't knock that over again. So anyway, I'm just prepping the beans so that I can go ahead and plant them. And I'm gonna set it up so that you guys can um, see what I do. But real quick, I'm just gonna walk around and show you what we have started already. Okay, all right. So this is the little uh, tower that I told you that we started. This has been about a couple of weeks now. And as you can see, we already have one little tomato on this cherry tomato plant. This tomato plant, um, I'm not sure if it's because of how it's watered or whatever, but it looks like it's starting to have an issue with some of the leaves. That means those have to come off. But besides that, these are strawberries. All along the sides of the tower you'll see that we have strawberries planted with the tomatoes at the top then we have the other empty pots and this is what I started today now I started okra here and that's my first row of okra and then on here these are the rest of the tomato starts that I purchased a couple of weeks ago and in the middle, I don't know if you can kind of see from the side that there's a, a thin skinny row in the center. And I just dropped some lemon basil seeds there because tomato and basil not only taste delicious, they're protective of each other. So the basil will keep the pests that like tomatoes away. And then on this one, I have planted a black cream tomato on this first row and on this second row i have planted the ox heart tomato now there's three tomatoes here and then i did four here with seeds and then these back two beds i haven't done anything with yet i'm gonna put some cucumber starts out and i know i'm gonna be doing some beans because i'm gonna be planting those today I'm gonna be planting those today, but I kinda of wanna see what's, how this is gonna do. Now, I did buy these months and months ago from Amazon. I'm gonna check the prices on them and see how much they are, cause I'm gonna need more. But I just kinda of wanna start here, just to see how things go. And then right here, this is one of our surprises. This is a volunteer watermelon we believe of some sort because last year I planted a couple of watermelons in a pot that was right here well we've moved that pot I believe it's that one over there that container but I'm believing that this might have been one of the watermelons that never came to fruition but if that's the case if it never fully developed how would it have seeds I don't know, but we've got some type of watermelon, it looks like, growing there. So we just kind of caged it so the dogs can't ruin it. 
those are the cucumber starts that I'll be putting out. They were looking a little peaky, but I watered them and put them in the sun. Uh, we've had them outside for two days over here on the table underneath the shade so they can kind of get used to the weather here because we do have crazy weather. And then this is some seeds that I started of dill. So hopefully this does well over in this area. This is going to end up being my herb garden, but I wanted to start the dill. Let's put that there now. Okay. I wanted to start the dill to kind of see how it works because this one's supposed to be a mammoth variety. So to give it a, a give it a chance to get started. And then this is an olive tree. And that dead one right there was also an olive tree. We picked this up at Trader Joe's and we finally planted it, planted both of them. But during the course of the freeze, even though we brought them inside, this one, which was our weakest one, thrived, but our healthiest looking one did not. And I was hoping that it would come back. So I'm kind of giving it some time, but if it doesn't do anything in the next month, I'm gonna pull it out. But I did go ahead and sprinkle some uh i think it's called hyssop h-y-y-s-s-o-p it's a flower but you can also use it in teas and things like that because it tastes like mint so i'm just going to flip the camera around and just kind of show you what i'm doing with the beans so i'm just gonna go ahead and um finish preparing the beans I have these little trays that I got at Amazon. They hold 12. They hold 12 cells, right? And then if you can see, I've put holes that are a quarter of an inch deep. Now I'm not sure how far down beans need to go. I want to think that they probably need to go like an inch but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of push them down uh, a little bit further than, than where I started uh, because I wanna have some success. But um, at the same time, I don't wanna push them too deep, you know, so that they can germinate. And I'm only gonna do these 12 um, as far as I can tell. Now, the thing about beans is they kind of tell you how to plant them. You see this little white line there? That's kind of like the umbilical cord of the bean, if you will. So that's the way that the bean looks. There's the little white part that's kind of like, uh, that's kind of like the um, umbilical cord, if you will. So that's where it's gonna sprout from. It's gonna sprout from the top where the white part is and excuse me that's where the root sprout let me clarify because it'll have two sprouts the root sprout will sprout from there and then at the top that's where the actual plant will grow from so when you plant a bean you want to always make sure that you put the umbilical cord side down i don't know why i like to call it that but i do so anyway that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to try and focus the camera so that you guys can see it. Now, I can't tell unless I may have to rig something up. This is my little water bottle. I like it because as you can see, it's a very fine mist. Tomatoes easily get diseases. Anything growing in the dirt, those microorganisms, they will cause disease in a plant, especially a tomato plant. So you want to make sure that it doesn't, just plant my first bean. You wanna make sure that you don't have a lot of leaves low on the plant. And you, when you water it, you don't want soil and whatever's in it bouncing up onto your leaves. So for that reason, in that tower, I actually use this mister to mist around the plant. But when Polly Bear does the watering for me because I'm late at work, 
be just old school waters. So that might be what's happening with that plant. So we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to try and see if I can aim it to show you guys how I'm going to do the, uh, the beans. Okay. So I hope you guys can see because I can't see you. Um, so you see I did the holes. This is the first one that I planted. So I'm going to take the bean. I'm going to take the bean and set it upside down with the umbilical cord facing down. It's kind of hard to do with these nails, but once you kind of get it positioned on the dirt, you see how it's positioned on the dirt? I'm going to take this little tool, which is called a dibber, and I'm just going to push it down, okay? Not too far, but far enough, and then just cover it over. And so that is how I'm going to go ahead and do these beans, okay? So once I finish with these beans, I'm going to water it really well. So I'll bring you back so that you can see how I water it. And then I'm just going to leave it out here. Now, if you notice, I have all of these trays, right? And I'm not planting all of them today. It, for me, it doesn't really make much sense to try and plant a bunch of different seeds when I don't have a space for them. Um, I will have a space for them, but I don't right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start seeds today and maybe in another two, three days, I'll start another group because I have a lot of seeds to share with you guys. But for the most part, I'm just going to be focusing on cucumbers and tomatoes, some obviously watermelon. Um, I want some squash. We're going to try our hand at uh, corn. Polly Bear doesn't know that yet. But we're going to try our hand at corn because corn is a natural grain, y'all. And you know I bake and I'm going to start making bread from fresh milled flour, including corn. So I want to try and grow corn because growing wheat, I don't feel that that's an option for Paul and I. I'll have to buy that. But, but, but you can. You can buy wheat. You can grow wheat. But corn, yeah, I, I think that would be something easy that we can try. So we're going to do that. This is our first year of full gardening. Last year was an experiment, an experiment that I think went pretty well, an experiment that taught me that you don't have to have big land. You don't have to till up your yard. You know, you can grow in pots. You can grow in vessels. You can grow in containers, no matter what that is. You know, I'm my only hope is that by the time I'm satisfied with the garden, it will look beautiful while it is bountiful because we do live in a neighborhood where there is an HOA. Uh, that's another reason why I purchased those uh, raised beds because if somebody says something, I know it still looks nice, you know. So anyway, that's pretty much that. I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, any comments, make sure you share them with me below always thumbs up the video because that helps the algorithm find us and spread the word okay and i welcome any comments that you guys have any advice um i took the advice from one of you guys that suggested a gardening apron for the video that's nev never going to be aired <laughs> and i placed an order i thought it was coming today it's another plane. I thought it was coming today, but they changed it up on me and it's coming on Monday. So that's another reason why in another couple of days or so, I'll probably be back out here in the garden. But, um, you know, like I was telling you before, my face is still red just from the little bit of heat because I get overheated really quickly. You know, I don't want any of us that are getting older with different disease processes with different disabilities to feel like you can't do because you can you know the preaching work has started up again and i know like with my parents my mother tells me what she can do what she can't do but she can do a lot more than what she thinks she can do and she's finding that out it's hard for 
Just like it's hard for me to be out here doing what I'm doing. It's hard for Polly Bear when he has to help me. But it's going to be worth it because nothing in life that's worth having is ever easy. And I tell that to my nieces and my nephews. And for your extended family that's young, I'm calling them my nieces and nephews too. You know, we are a family here. That's how I feel. So that's just how it is in my mind anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to planting these beans. I hope you guys enjoy this little tidbit of a video and always come back. Always come back and see what I'm doing. You know, I really appreciate those of you that always look forward to whatever it is that I put out. And I hope that it is on par with what you're doing in your life or your thought processes, your ideas, your values, and your morals. So have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>